guys, today I'm doing a best drugstore beauty products video. Um, there are a lot of products in here and I'm not going to go through each single one and show you. I'm going to have a picture of, of them like shown like while I'm saying them um, because I just think that'll be a little bit easier and it'll go by a little bit faster. And I'm going to explain each one a teensy little bit because there's a lot of things here and I want this video to be like 20 minutes long. So, um, okay, so I have a million things here pretty much. Um, I have stuff that is for the like, body, skincare, body wise. I have skincare face wise. Um, hair products, makeup products, brushes, everything. Um, everything in here can be purchased at the drugstore. Um, I do have some Real Techniques brushes at the end. I don't know if you guys would consider them like a drugstore purchase, even though they're from like Ulta, but I think I, they kind of are because at Ulta, even though they have name brand stuff, I think that, I think that the Real Techniques brushes would be considered a drugstore product because they're not really that expensive. Um, all the stuff is purchasable at Target, Harmons, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, except for the Real Techniques brushes, which are only available at Ulta. Um, Everything else you can pretty much get anywhere. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting anything at Walgreens because the price tends to like double there. But anyways, just to get into it, um, I'm going to do body first. I have like my sections listed out here. I have body, hair, skin care, makeup, and brushes. Um, and just remember guys, I have oily skin and definitely acne prone skin. So if you guys have dry skin or even normal skin, some of this stuff might work, but if you have dry skin, and definitely really dry skin and not oily at all, then a lot of these products work skincare wise, probably won't work for you even makeup wise. Some of them might not work because obviously everyone's skin is different, even if you have oily skin, some of these might not work, you know, but um, these are just my recommendations, you know, um, I just want to try to help you guys pick some stuff out. Um, I'm kind of going to review these products a teensy means a bit just to, you know, like a general idea of them. If you want a more extensive review on any of these products, please let me know. I'd be happy to do one for any of these products. Um, if you just have a quick question, leave that in the comments below and I will be happy to answer it as soon as I possibly can, which is usually within 24 hours of when you asked. So let's just get into it. My first product is the Queen Helen cocoa butter cream which I've talked about in a, quite a few of my videos. Um, I will show the picture of it. Um, it is an amazing cream. I've used it for my face. I've used it for my body. Usually I use it for my body especially in the winter when your like legs can get a little bit ashy and like dry. Um, but it's really just an amazing moisturizing cream. I think it's great for everyone. It smells amazing. It's just perfect and it's not very um, expensive. It's like five dollars or something. Um, so that's really great. Next I'm going to go into hair. That was really the only thing for body. For hair my first um, two products actually are the L'Oreal Studio Texturizer. Um, it's out of bed texturizer and the hair putty. Those are both about three dollars at any drugstore. I usually get them at Harmons because they're the cheapest there. They're really amazing products. Really 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 great price. They last a really long time and um, I love them because they really help with keeping your hair um, texturized and keeping curls or even keeping it straight and it just kind of like holds your hair without like having to use hairspray. It's really great and they both smell really amazing. And then the Herbal Essences Split End Protector. It's like a lotion. Um, I have the one in the red bottle but they think that I think the new one is in a purple bottle I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure about that but um, anything that says Split End Protector in like a, like a little pump is what I'm talking about because I know they changed the packaging since I got the one that I have. Um, and then next is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I talked about this in my Harmon's haul which I just uploaded recently. Um, it's a really amazing dry shampoo. If you're looking for a drugstore dry shampoo um, instead of like the Suave or the Tresemme one I definitely recommend it. It's about $3.99 I think. Um, I've seen it for $5.99, but usually it's on sale. They usually have good sales because for the Freeman, Freeman brand makes it. I have the original scent. They also have another scent. I think it's like a floral one. I really like the original one. It doesn't make my hair greasy. It definitely volumizes my hair. It's a really, really great product. And then to skincare, I'm going to talk about the Aveeno Smart Essentials Anti-Fatigue Eye Treatment. It's an amazing, amazing product. Um, I think that I would rather use that than any other product for my eyes. So it's really great. You just use it in the morning and at night. Just roll it under your eyes like this and like that and you're done. It has like one of those little metal, metal like roller balls on it. Um, it's a really amazing product. I've noticed that my eyes... <laughs> Um, the puffiness is completely gone, dark circles are completely gone just after like a week of using it. It is an amazing product. I think it's about $8.99. It's super, super great and I totally recommend it. Um, and then the Elf Zit Zapper, which is I think $1 or $3. Um, they're always going on for sale and stuff on the, the Elf website. You could probably also get it at Target. It's amazing. It has salicylic acid, witch hazel, and something else. I can't remember what it is. But um, it's supposed to be really amazing. I've used it. I've got, I've got great reviews on their website. Um, and I got it. I got two of them actually. They're amazing. Just for like if you have one zit. Um, I mean for me I've kind of 
acne all over so I usually just use it when my skin is doing pretty well and I'll just use it on a certain blemish or something like that but it's a really great product and I totally recommend investing in it even especially if you have like normal skin and you just have a few like blemishes here and there or something like that because it's not over drying um, it kind of smells like a halamine lotion or something or something you would um, it kind of smells like something that I used when I was a little, um, like a lotion for like poison ivy or something. Um, it's, it's a pretty bad, not bad, but it's like a good weird smell, but it goes away pretty quickly and I think it's really worth it because it helps a lot. Um, and then the Freeman Mint and Lemon Clay Mask. Um, all the Freeman masks I would recommend. I haven't used all of them because some of them are for moisturizing and I obviously don't need moisture. Um, but I've used the mint and lemon one, I've used the Dead Sea Minerals one, I've used the avocado and oatmeal one. Um, I, my favorite one is the mint and lemon one. The other two are great. I'm sure the moisturized ones are great too. But um, they're about three or two ninety nine, I think, and they last quite a while. They're really, really amazing. I totally recommend them. They're a lot cheaper than a lot of other stuff, and um, they're just really, really great. They work wonders. Um, and then the Neutrogena Fragrance Free... Um, facial cleansing formula fragrance free. It's in this container. Um, mine obviously is pretty empty. Um, I'm showing you this because I forgot to take a picture of it. But um, usually it's this color all through. It comes in a box. This is about $10. I've seen it for $6.99. I think at Target is the cheapest place I've ever found it. Um, it's usually between $6.99 and $9.99. I actually got a four pack of it for $15 at um, BJ's Wholesale, which you could probably also get at Costco and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is a really great purifying, cleansing wash. I have acne prone skin and it just kind of like makes your skin feel really clear and like silky smooth and like that really like cleansed feeling but without making it too tight and like it's just a really great cleanser and I totally recommend it for anyone, any kind of skin. Um, maybe not dry but definitely from like normal to oily to really oily combination, you know, whatever. Um, and then next I'm going to go into makeup and I'm, my first thing I'm going to mention is the, uh, most of my makeup products are by Maybelline. Um, Maybelline, the eyeshadow quads, any of them, my favorite are the gold, the neutral tone ones, but um, I totally recommend any of them. They're so amazing. They have really great pigments. They last quite a while. I usually use a primer underneath them. They last right, a pretty long time, about six hours. I mean, I have really oily skin and oily eyelids, so if you have dry skin, it might last even longer. Um, they're just really great. Not very expensive. At $4.29 for a quad, they last forever. Um, I've had some of my same quads for a really long time. You just have to be a little bit careful when you travel with them because um, they can not, the, the eyeshadow itself won't break, but the container is kind of like flimsy. Um, but other than that, it's they're fantastic and they have great colors and everything like that. And then Maybelline Ultra Brow Brush on Color. Um, I just started using this. It's an amazing product. Um, I don't know if you guys can notice a difference. I've just started filling in my eyebrows about a week ago. Um, I don't do a heavy like shaping or anything. Just a little to fill in like the sparse parts. Just to fill in where you can like see my skin underneath. I think it really helps um, shape the face. It makes you look a lot more polished. I just think it's a really good idea. I skipped that step for so long thinking my eyebrows are already so dark and stuff, but really it's an amazing thing to do. I mean, it'll change your entire look. Like, I've been thinking I've looked so much better this whole week, even though my skin's been breaking out terribly just because of my eyebrows. So I definitely recommend doing that. This one's really great if you want, like, a subtle one, like, like a subtle filling in your brows. You don't want, like, a um, I would recommend brushing it on rather than using like a pencil because it kind of is more subtle and more natural looking. So if you are just starting to fill in your brows, I'd recommend this one. And then the Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour Concealer. You guys know I'm in the color light. I've used this in like all my videos. It's my favorite concealer by far from the drugstore. Um, even almost from the, um, de from the department stores too. I'm trying a new one for my birthday so we'll see if I like that one better, which I probably will. But um, this one's amazing. Really, I'd say full coverage. Um, they they did a great job with this concealer. So if you have blemishes, I totally recommend this concealer from the drugstore, especially if you're in high school, because it can be pretty hard to like pay for stuff when you're younger, especially when you have blemishes. So def definitely recommend that um, concealer for blemishes. And then the Maybelline Adri Wine Eraser Dark Circles. I'm also in light in that one. It's amazing for under eyes. I've been using that for the past week too, and I am obsessed with it. My, I feel like my under eye puffiness is gone from the Aveeno stuff and from this. It is amazing. Um, people have been saying I looked so much more awake and like how much sleep did I get last night and stuff. It is an amazing product. I totally recommend it. It's about seven something, seven to eight dollars. Um, I actually just got one for my mom too because she loves it. Um, and then the e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder, which I was trying to use the Rimmel Stay Matte, and I know everyone loves it, and you guys are probably like crucify me for saying this, but um, I like this one a lot better. I started using it for a while, and I didn't like it that much, and now I started using it again, and I like it a lot. Um, I don't use a sponge that comes with it, I just use like a powder brush, and I really love it 
really mattifies my skin for at least four hours. Um, my skin has not been oily lately. I've also switched my skincare regime, um, so I'm going to do an uh, updated skincare regime soon with the products I've been using, and it might be have something to do with that, but I think this mattifying powder is much better than a lot of the other ones I've used, better than primers and everything. So I definitely recommend the e.l.f. translucent mattifying powder, especially in place of the HD powder. Um, and then next is L'Oreal Voluminous False Lashes. You guys know I use this all the time in every one of my videos. This is my number one go-to mascara, whether it's name brand or not. This is my number one mascara. I am obsessed with it. It just like adds onto your lashes. It voluminizes them without making them all clumpy, and it dries without making your eyelashes crunchy, and it comes off, and it's amazing. I just am obsessed with it. Um, and then the Wet n Wild blush that I use in pretty much all my recent videos and really great pigments. Um, they only have a few colors, I think four. I love the color Mellow Wine. Um, it's just really great pinky red color. I like it for fall, for summer, for any time of the year. Um, and then the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer, which is something I've also been using lately. Um, I used it a long time ago and then I kind of got lazy and stopped using it, but I've been using it again. And it is just great now that I've actually been like out and about like, all day, not just like sitting in my room or like doing nothing in the summer. Now that school starts, I've been using the primer. It holds your makeup on great. It gives a great like mattifying finish. It covers your pores. I mean, it is just an amazing primer. Only $6. Totally recommend getting it, especially if you're on a budget. Um, I haven't tried too many of the name brand um, like department store primers, but I'm planning on trying them. And right now, I'm just really loving this one. So I don't know if anything's going to meet my expectations, but we'll see. Um, and then the Revel and the Butters, any color, any any of them. I have three different colors, creme brulee, strawberry shortcake, and sweet tart, and I love all of them. Some bright pinks, some nudes, everything. They're just amazing, great pigments, moisturizing. I'm obsessed with them. They don't make my lips get all bumpy and disgusting like a lot of lip products do, so I don't get allergic to them, and they're just really great, about six, seven dollars. Then, on to brushes. Um, I'm going to start with my Target um, brushes. They're actually from Target, not the e.l.f. brand, just Target. Um, the crease and the smudge brush, they are the brand Up or Target Up or something like that. Um, up to or I don't know what it is, but it has that little arrow. They're um, in the makeup section at Target. You can get them. They only have about six or seven different brushes I've seen. Um, they also like the wedge, like the little wedges, like the makeup wedges and the sponges and all that stuff. And um, I definitely recommend these brushes. They're soft. They're held together really well. They look nice, even though they're only about two, three dollars. So those are really great. And then any Eco Tools brush. Um, these were the first makeup brushes I've ever gotten when I first got into makeup a long, long time ago, and they still hold up to today. I wash them about every month, um, if not more. Um, they last forever. I've had them for three, four years, and they've lasted. They're still soft. They still apply great. I hardly have any fallout ever with any of it, with any of them, like any of the little hairs. Um, they're amazing brushes. Obviously, they're like um, green or go green or eco safe or eco friendly. Eco friendly. <laughs> um, obviously, they're eco friendly because they're called Eco Tools. Um, I think they're made out of bamboo or something. I'm not sure, but um, they're amazing brushes. I have the Kabuki and then the pack with the powder brush and like some of the eye brushes and stuff. And I love all of them. My favorite ones are the angled, angled eyeliner brush, the shadow brush, the Kabuki, and the powder or blush brush. I'm not sure what it's, what it's called. But you guys, you've seen me use them in videos and stuff, and I'm just obsessed with them. They're amazing quality and amazing price and everything like that. And then the e.l.f. Lash, Eyelash and Brow Wand. I love a lot of the e.l.f. brushes, but they seem to fall apart on me. Um, I don't know why, not like the hairs or anything, but like the the brush part falls off of the like, stick part, and I don't know why that is. But my favorite one is the e.l.f. Eyelash and Brow Wand. You can get this really in any brand, but the e.l.f. one I think is only a dollar, so I'd recommend getting that one. And then the Real Techniques brushes, my favorite are the buffing and the blush brush. Buffing brush, great for any foundation, BB cream, tinted moisturizer, even concealer. Um, I just really love the buffing brush. If I could have to, had to get rid of all my brushes and I could only pick one, that's the one I would pick. Um, I could do everything else with my fingers, I just need that buffing brush. I'm obsessed with it. Um, and then also the blush brush because it's huge and it just kind of blends bronzer and blush perfectly and I'm obsessed with it. Um, and that is it for this um, best drugstore beauty products video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please, please comment below. I know this video has been massively long and I've been really messed up during this video and I keep making mistakes, but um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you guys, um, especially you guys on a budget. Um, I can do a favorite um, high-end brand like product video if you guys want me to do that or review any of these products. Um, also, I'm going to have my birthday haul coming up soon because my birthday is exactly a week from today um, on the 27th. And also I'm going to have an autumn makeup tutorial. I know I already did one, but I'm going to do another one of kind of my everyday autumn makeup tutorial. The makeup I've been wearing pretty much every day for the last three weeks. Um, and I'm going to also do some autumn outfits videos once I get my birthday 
um, presents because I noticed there's some good clothes in them and I didn't want to do a video and then do another one like a couple days later. So I'm going to do a pretty big fashion video coming up soon. Hopefully I'll be able to film it outside. Cross your fingers and I'll be able to do that. And the weather will stay nice and I'll be able to do that. If not, then I'm sorry. I'll have to be stuck in my little tiny room. But I am moving to my sister's room soon. We're painting and everything. Um, if you guys want to hear about that, I might um, do a video of that or... Um, show you the paint or show you something if you guys are interested in that so please let me know um also uh i am going to be doing some hair videos coming up soon i really hope you guys enjoy this and please subscribe if you haven't already so that you can check out all my other videos and all the videos that are to come in the future also please um, like me on facebook follow me on um instagram and polyvore and pinterest it's all linked below um thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much and i will see you guys next time bye Or, um, um, blah, 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 blah. Okay. A, I am doing a best beauty, blah, blah, blah. my god, I'm doing a best, blah, oh my gosh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. A, um, Ugh. Um, jeez. Gosh, someone teach me English again. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm the first part of this video because I don't know what is wrong with me today, but something is, and I can't speak for some reason. I think it's because I went to the dentist. I don't know if that has to do with anything, but I think it does. Anyways, I went to the dentist. Oh my gosh. I need expressions. Oh my gosh. And I have to go to the bathroom, so I'll be right back. Okay. Proud of the Oh my god. Um, the perp, the, 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 the perp, um, um, it's, bleh, oh my gosh, there's something wrong with me, seriously. Okay, I've nosed my, I've nosed, oh my gosh. Anyways, um.